23 has been hectic. When I say hectic, like hectic. This past year has been different than the others. And I feel like this is my time where people are like, oh, you're when you're young, your early 20s, that's when you struggle. I feel like 23 is like the peak. I feel like it, but I don't know. That's just for me. I don't know about anyone else. But in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my six month plan. Six month plan as in, today august 25th is actually my half birthday so my birthday is february 25th it's half birthday so i just want to flip 23 i know 23 has potential but i'm not quitting here so this past week i actually moved to my dorm on campus and this is actually my last semester i graduated december with exercise science and i don't know what i'm gonna do after you know that's kind of stressing me out but i'm not gonna let it stress me out at all I know God has a plan for me, so I'm not going to stress. And if any of you guys are in that, even if you're graduating spring, give it to God. That's all I'm saying. Don't worry. Everything will fall into place because it's your life. As I mentioned before, you know, this past year, I just feel like every aspect, physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, socially, like other least, I feel like it's just not improving. And every other year, you know, I've been writing goals, very motivated. And then this year, it just literally the day i turned 23 it started with problems so i'm like maybe it's a year of lessons but maybe my lessons like to switch it so i'm gonna be very intentional this next half of 23 like writing down my goals physically like mentally and i'm gonna break down each of why it's going downhill but like physically you know i'm into gym i'm very active i'm a dancer I lift weights. I used to play basketball, but now I mainly lift weights and dance. I'm also like doing personal training for internship that I'm starting next week. So I'm going to be very active, but I have a certain goal or a lifestyle. This past semester, I actually got to a goal where I lifted a certain amount of weights in the gym, everything. And then summer came and then I, the month of July was just so stressful. I didn't even go in the, to the gym. And it kind of went downhill from there. So I'm trying to get back up physically. Mentally, I would say social media could really, really have a big impact on you. And I feel like this year I took social media seriously and my TikTok and Instagram grew a lot. And I didn't even expect it like that. I was just like, let me just go. By the end of the year, I had half, I put down half the followers I have now. But if you just stay consistent, one thing I'll say is it will pay off. But social media is one of those things, if you're on it too much, it will get to you. It was to the point I was checking analytics and then going to bed, watching TikToks, waking up, watching TikToks, like not ha having enough time to do Bible studies. And then that goes into my, you know, my spiritual, the sp mm, my faith. That was kind of, I wasn't praying, doing devotions as much. Everything just kind of just went downhill and like, you know, not taking care of myself as much. I didn't have a schedule for my self care. It was just kind of just going all like that. Now I wouldn't say the root is social media, but it's a big, big part of it. july is when i noticed it like that seventh like you know what i'm saying it's almost a half mark but i was like uh-uh like this past year a lot of things has been happening each month has been crazy busy crazy stressful maybe june was like not as much but june it started like i started i stopped putting that much effort social media working everything i don't really have summer classes internships and i was just kind of like you know chilling and the funny part is that the Bible verse for June was reap what you sow. So it was basically like if you work hard, you get the fruit of your labor. So I'm thinking before June starts, I'm like, oh, if I'll just, you know, do social media and stuff, not work as much. And I was like, okay, my fruit is coming. But it was the opposite. I became very lazy. I'm not going to lie. The month of June and I didn't get the fruit. So I'm thinking what happened like i wonder i like you know that was supposed to be my month that bible verse and everything and it actually worked the opposite either way i learned a lesson and hard work pays off but july i think i overworked myself and then that gave me i was tired burnt out lost motivation everything
as I entered August, I was like, some things need to change. And so since it's my first week of classes, you know, like when you start something new, it's fresh. I just wanted to start the rest of 23 and just make make 23 worth it and not make the year where I'm like, oh my gosh, 23 was the worst year ever when people ask me. So I'm going to put all of this is going to be a series and I'm just going to do every single aspect. Hopefully it helps you. And hopefully it motivates you to start with something if you're neglected something in your life even yourself i feel like this could be a great start even though it's august it's like for the rest of the year you could change something in your life and like that's why i like something new when new things start it's like an opportunity for you to start other things so hopefully the series encourages you I'm gonna break down every single aspect of my life that I need to work on so I'm gonna be making like goals and lists but how I'm gonna do is like a video format I haven't really thought of it but I'm just gonna kind of just post anything I'm just gonna pick up the camera and post it there's not really structure I haven't wrote anything down yet but I will and hopefully it helps you too one thing is I'm gonna take care of myself and part of Taking care of myself is actually smelling good. Dossier sent me two perfumes and, and the one I'm wearing right now is actually Ambery Saffron. And this is inspired by MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540. And it has very much like sweet kind of smell. Kind of reminds me of the Ariana Grande Cloud. So if you like that, um, and I'm wearing it before going to bed because it gives me that really comfort, like sweet. And I feel like it's like a nighttime type of smell and I like to put that on and then go to bed. So the top notes are saffron and orange blossom, middle notes jasmine, plum, cedarwood, base notes oak moss, fir, balsam, and amber. D Dossier is a vegan, cruelty-free, clean ingredient so it's the best thing to wear, very safe. I really like it. It sticks and the smell is very strong. So MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540 actually retails for $300, but this Ambery Saffron is actually only $49. And if you want an additional 10% off, use the code SADA10 to get 10% off your next order. You're welcome. Everything is going to be in the description box below. And then the next day before I went to the gym, I actually wore the second perfume dossier sent me which is citrus tea and this is actually inspired by Le Labo's fragrances the Noir 29 and I actually chose this because I wanted something different I've actually never smelled this before citrus tea gave me that fresh smell and it kind of gives that off it's nothing I wouldn't wear all the time but for the gym it's perfect top notes are bergamot fig black tea middle notes bay leaf tobacco jasmine vetiver base notes cedarwood musk hay peach and incense and i feel like this is a, a gym smell at least for me the le labo fragrance the noir actually retails for 192 but this dossier citrus tea is only 39 dollars and if you want an additional 10 percent off for any of the dossier perfumes use the code sada 10 to get 10 percent off your next order all the details are in the description box below, so you're welcome. I'll go get you some. With my six month plan, I'm gonna sit down and break down every single aspect of my life. I'm not trying to be perfect because nobody can be perfect. I'm not trying to perfect my life, but I'm trying to be the best version of Sada. So if I break down every single thing, write down a plan, see what I need to work on, really be honest with myself, have people around me that can tell me the truth and things I need to work on, really having those friends that you can depend on too, you know, not doing it all by myself, giving it all to God. And even if I have worries, that's in this past few months, that's one thing that's been uh, a big thing in my life has been worrying. And it's crazy because at the beginning of 2022, like every single thing I worried about, you, I, I'll just give it straight to God. But throughout that time, it kind of just kept fading away. And when you worry, that means you don't trust God. I mean, that's literally it. So I want to trust God and give him everything. But I want to share with you guys every single thing. Write down in the comments. If you've been struggling with this, change things up, improve, be the best version of you. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is the introduction to the series. Come back for the other parts of the series. Thanks for watching. Come again.